Isaiah chapter 43, the Gospel of John, the 43rd book of the Bible. Now we're going to see in this chapter the I am eight times. We're going to see in this chapter the relationship of God to Israel and Israel back to God. We will look at the heresy of the Jehovah Witnesses. And they are heretics. But now, thus saith the Lord, that created thee, O Jacob, and has formed thee, O Israel. So, again, looking at all the nations in the world, God says there's one particular nation that's been created and formed. Now, God made all the nations. But there is, one, there is one nation that's been elect and chosen by God. And that's the nation of Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. God has redeemed no other nation. Individuals, I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. A German can be redeemed under the blood of Jesus Christ. An African can be, but a particular group of people. Israel was redeemed by redeemed when they came out of Egypt under the blood of the Passover lambs. I have called thee by thy name. Now take a look at John chapter 10 real quick. John chapter 10. In John chapter 10, verse 3. To him the porter opened, and the sheep hear his voice. And they call his own sheep by name, and he leadeth them out. And the sheep know his voice, verse 4. It's Jesus Christ, the nation of Israel. Thou art mine. And there are particular religions and people out there, but God's all finished with Israel. No, he's not. Never will be. That's a lie. When thou passest through the waters, <clears throat> I will be with thee. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. All the trials and tribulations. And yet there are Jews who have died and gone off to hell. There are, there are Jews that have been just tortured. And, and, and There have been nations and people trying to wipe that Jew off the world. There are people trying to erase that Jew from the nation off the earth. God says, go through the waters, go through the river, go through the fire. There will be a remnant that comes out. Through Jacob's trouble, there will be a remnant that will come out. You're not going to eliminate the Jews totally. When we get to the new heavens, the new earth, and new Jerusalem, there'll be no Americans. There'll be no more Chinese. But there'll be Israel. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. And I've said often, your God better be the God of Israel. You can't call yourself a Christian organization and say, well, we hate the Jews. That's anti-Bible. That's a contradiction. You can't have an organization where, you know, we have, we have advanced race and we are the people and, 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 and black lives matter. How do you feel about the Jewish people? God's Jewish people lives matter to God. Of all the races, all the people, Jesus came onto his own. Jewish. I mean, there are Europeans that will have Jesus pictures of European. Their Italians would have Jesus be Italian. There would be African Americans who have Jesus as black. There would be Americans who have Jesus as Hollywood. My Jesus is Jewish. Thy Savior, Jesus, Jehovah saves. So already off the back for the Jehovah Witnesses that say that Jesus is not God, to ask them, they will just come up. Yes, he's not God. Yes, he is. What is the name, the very name of Jesus? Jehovah saves. 
He shall save my people, Gabriel tells Mary. Or it's listed in Matthew. One of the places where he tells about the name of Jesus. He will save my people. Emmanuel, God is with us. How is God with us? Jesus. I gave Egypt for thy ransom and Ethiopian Sheba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, Israel, thou hast been honorable. You see why people don't read the Old Testament? Because there are actually Christians today that, that, that look at the Bible and America, we're number one. When you go through the book of Isaiah, no, 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 no. There are people who read their Bible Americanized. They read the Bible, the interpretation of America. No. It's a Hebrew Bible. Thou has been honorable. Joseph was honorable before Pharaoh. Jacob had a testimony of Pharaoh. You know, Joseph had such honorability with Pharaoh. And when, his, when Jacob, his father, came and his children, Pharaoh told Jacob, said, listen, you point me some men and take care of my cattle. Because if you raise Joseph like that, you, you've got to raise some more boys like that. And I have loved thee, God speaking. Therefore, I gave men for thee. I, I gave you population. I gave you men. Men make men. And people for thy life. Fear not. Again, I am God. I am. You know, Jesus said often in the Gospel of John. We're in the book of John, the 44th, 43rd chapter. You know what got people mad in, in the Gospel of John about Jesus? I am. I am. I'm the bread of life. I am the water of life. At one time, they, they picked up stones. Why? Because Jesus said, I am. Jehovah Witnesses say, well, Jesus is not God. You know, when Jesus said, I am. What did, what did God tell Moses when Moses said, what's your name? I am that I am. And the Jews understood that. They were going to stone Jesus. John chapter 6, I believe. I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather it from the west. I say to the north, give up and to the south. All directions. Keep not back. Bring my son, my sons from afar, my daughters from the ends. God say, as far as those Jewish people, that's my sons, that's my daughters. That's the relationship the Christian has with Jesus Christ. That's the relationship that the Christian has with God. We are his sons. We are his children. But we're never a replacement of the nation of Israel. I'm no spiritual Jew. I am not a replacement of, of Israel. God has many children. He has the sons of God that are, are, that are angels. He has the son of God that was Adam. He has the sons and daughters of God that is Israel. He has sons and daughters of the church, Christians, from the ends of the earth. Even everyone, everyone that is called by my name, He is saying, as far as that Jew, you are under my name. Today is taken quite literal with the, they were first called Christians in Antioch. Christian Christ, Christian Christ. Now that was a name for insulting. That wasn't a name, you know, you act like that, Jesus Christ, Christian. And now don't go flying off the other. Well, they were called Christians in the Old Testament. Christ is not the name of God. Christ means anointed. I have created him for my glory. God made Israel say, hey, you know what? You're going to glorify me. Now Israel failed. And it kept failing. But after the second advent, when God gives them the new heart and the new spirit and forgives of their sins and their iniquities, ooh, they're going to glorify God. They're going to glorify God by, by being under their king, Jesus Christ. 
You know what pleases God is when you worship and give the due honor and the exaltation of Jesus Christ. That honors God. When you got the great me, myself, and I, that don't honor God at all. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him the nation of Israel. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. And during the first ministry, the first advent of Jesus Christ, he healed them. Let all the nations be gathered together, United Nations. Let the people be assembled, United Nations Assembly. Where they get the name from? Why not the Why not the United Nations group? United Nations, a lot of people. Why does it have to be assembly? Because the Bible said assembly. Who among them, the United Nations, can declare this? They don't declare Israel's God's people. Israel doesn't even really have a standing United Nations. They're there, but they're not really there. And that's in the Bible too, because God said Israel's not to be reckoned among the nations. That's why they're there in the United Nations, but they're not. Bible. Show forth the former things. There's that prophecy we read about the other night. There are people united. Well, our nation's going to go on forever. We're going to bring in the peace. We're going. No, you're not. Not according to the Bible. Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified, and let them hear and say it is truth. You think they're going to say that's that is truth out of New York City? You think that the, the Arabians and everybody in the Middle East is going to come up and say that's the truth? They don't even have Israel on their maps. Where the Bible says that land is given to the Jew. <coughs> that is true. Uh, Genesis chapter uh, uh, 22. <coughs> Excuse me. Islam has Abraham and Isaac going up on the mountain. I mean, I, Abraham and Ishmael going up on that mountain. Not Isaac. That's a lie. And I spoke to a Muslim. And he told me. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Now, who do you think stole that one? Jehovah, witnesses, you are my witnesses. Who's he been talking to? The Jews, Israel, Hebrews. Why is it when the Jehovah Witnesses come to my door, they, they've been African American? You're too colored to be a Jew. Your nation is too far south to be Israel. My servant, whom I have chosen, ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God form. Neither shall there be after you. And the Jehovah Witnesses believe that there is one God. And like the Jewish people believe today, they, they, they have an idea that Jesus is a secondary God to, to God the Father. They don't put God and Jesus together as one unit of the Trinity. When, you, when, the, when the Jews and, and the Jehovah Witnesses, gee, when they look at it, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, they're three different entities. They can't be one. I believe that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Three are three, and they're one, and one is three. And there is distinctions between the Father and the Son, but I can't explain it. But they are one. And that's the same belief that, that the Jewish person has. And that's the same belief the Jehovah Witness has. They're trying to steal Israel's blessing. Oh, you know, we're the anointed, we're the greatest ones, we're the ones that God made, blah, 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 blah. Out of New York? The same place where the United Nuts will gather together as a nation against Israel? I 
I, even I am the Lord. Got that? And beside me, there is no Savior. Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. That's Jesus Christ. And you go over 1 John 5, 20. The Father, the Word, and where it's been messed with with every Bible but the King James. Where Acts 20, 28 says the blood of God purchased the church. And then Jehovah Nuts witnesses come up and say, oh, you know, and completely deny the Bible. You say, well, the Jewish people, too. Yeah. But they're still God's people. Jehovah Witnesses. They're not God's people. We're at 144,000, but you're in the billions. Someone told me the other day that they actually think they're changing. They're changing. They've had a thing, 144,000, one, two, three, and all. But they actually, I've heard they actually changed their doctrine to why there's a billion or million. All right. The book of Revelations also says they're Jewish. Uh, I've met Jehovah Witnesses who are not Jewish, can't be Jewish. Jehovah Witnesses are virgins. I met a couple of Jehovah Witnesses holding hands with their little boy. That's not a virgin. I have met Jehovah Witnesses that are female, uh, males. I got, someone told me the other day, I to, when Jehovah Witness comes, comes to the door, hey, lift up your hair. What do you do? Lift up, I want to see your forehead. I want to see the name and mark of Jehovah on your forehead. Someone showed me that the other day. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Where's your mark? You know, God marks his witnesses, 144,000, and the Antichrist comes up with a countermark to deceive the people who think, you know. Yeah. God has his 144,000 out, and the devil will have his witnesses out with artificial mark. For everything God has, Satan has a copycat. I have declared and have saved uh, with uh, Luke chapter 19 verse 20 I come to seek that which is lost I come not to destroy but to save <coughs> oh excuse me I have shown when there was no strange God among you you know what's in Isaiah's time right now? Do you know what's in Jeremiah's time? Strange gods. Jeremiah, again, when we come to that, Lord willing, mother of God. Right now, they're worshiping Baal. They're worshiping Asterisk. Strange gods. So is the church today. They got the same gods. Asterisk. Esther. Esther. You're going to have an Easter service in your church? That's Esther. That goes all the way back to Esther. You, 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 do you have Christmas service? That's Tammuz. We're going to see him weeping for Tammuz pretty soon in Jeremiah, Lord willing. Valentine's. Aronos. I read, I read the other day that Aronos is also, also Tammuz. The church is in the same predicament that Judah is in right now. They got other gods. Among you, therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. I am God. Again, that's what Jehovah Witnesses tries to steal. It's the nation of Israel. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah Witnesses can't say that. 
Go ahead and try to say, okay, yeah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. A, a typical Jehovah Witness is going, okay, we'll go even back further. You either come from Japheth or Ham on the ark. Very rarely did you come from Shem. Israel comes from Shem. European comes from Japheth. The African comes from Ham. Jehovah Witnesses are the same thing in the Middle East. The Middle East steals it from Ishmael. The Jehovah Witnesses just pull it out of a hat or something. Yea, before the day was I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? If God's going to do something, who's going to stop it? Who's going to stop the Antichrist but the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? Now, I've seen Christian movies. We come up with the mark and the computers and all that. I see those movies in the garbage because that defiles the, the Bible because the Bible said no man will buy or sell unless he's got that mark. It didn't say get an artificial mark. Anti-scriptural. Thus saith the Lord. Your Redeemer. Who redeemed Israel? God, Jehovah. Who redeemed Israel? Under the blood of the Lamb, the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world. What's that Lamb of God? That's the Passover Lamb. God redeemed them on the Passover night when the lambs were killed. God redeemed the nation of Israel when Jesus Christ died on that cross. Now they rejected him. We're in the church age the Gentiles are in. But that same blood of Jesus is again going to redeem that nation at the second coming. I am he. Thus saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake have I sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles, Chaldean, whose, whose cry is even ships. Follow that up in Revelation 17, 18. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel. Your, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's that? Capital K, K. King of kings, Lord of lords. This is Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. You can't miss the references unless you're a Jehovah Witness. Who is the Redeemer? Who is the Savior? Who is the one that's speaking about God? Jehovah. Jesus. Jesus Christ is coming back for what, Israel? As their king. There it is. See that capital K? Thus saith the Lord, which maketh the way, the sea, this is the Red Sea, and a path of the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, Pharaoh, the army and the power, and shall lie down together, and shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as a toe. All right, Jehovah Witness, when did God open up the Red Sea for you? When did God sink your enemies who were in chariots? Remember ye are not the remember ye not the former thing. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God prepared a place for her. Revelation 12. The beasts of the field shall honor me, God, the dragons, and the owls. The sower went out to sow seed, and then came the fowls and ate the seed. What's the fowls, Jesus? The devil. Because I give waters in the wilderness. Millennium. And rivers in the desert. We read about that. Millennium. To give drink to my people, my chosen. Millennium. This people, Israel, have I formed for myself 
They shall show forth my praise. Have you got it? It's Israel. It's Israel. It's Israel. It's Israel. It's Israel. It's Israel. No Americans. Jehovah Witnesses, the foundation is American. Jehovah Witnesses is American religion. Just as the Mormons, Seven Day Adventists, and all the other crap. No religion out of America is worth throwing. But thou has thou has not called upon me, Israel, O Jacob, but thou has been weary of me, O Israel. Israel hasn't been doing right. True. Thou has not brought me small cattle of thy burnt offering. There's the temple. In Isaiah's time, they're not bringing their offerings. I guess I have to go to Malachi chapter four and preach the tithing. Neither has thou honored me with thy sacrifices. Got to bring up Malachi chapter four, I guess. That's not written yet, by the way. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor weary thee with increase. Yeah. You know, God says, listen, you haven't brought me nothing. I haven't given you nothing. And that's Malachi. You know, come and try the Lord, you know, and the windows of heaven open on wide. Explain to me the life and ministry of Paul. Thou hast brought me no sweet cane with money. You don't see that being preached in the churches today. You didn't bring me no sugar. Neither hast thou filled me with the fat of the sacrifices. You didn't bring me no meat. But thou hast made me to serve with thy sins. Oh. Thou hast wearied me with thy iniquity. You know what Israel has done? Israel sinned against God. We see it in Isaiah. We'll see it in Jeremiah. In Jeremiah, we're going to learn that those sins are in the temple. Oh. In the house of God. Uh oh. You know, people today that, that call their buildings the house of God and got sin in them? You know, what I learned today, you know, you know what one, one of David's sins was? Was numbering the people. You know what the church does? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Hey, we had 26 people come. That's why you hate me. Because I preach the truth. Oh, no, Jesus didn't. He said 4,000 men. And then besides the women and children. He didn't count the women and children. I, even I am he that blotted out thy transgressions, second advent, millennium, for my own sake. I will not remember thy sins, second advent, millennium. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together, Isaiah 118. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified through Jesus Christ. Thy first father sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore have I profaned the princes of this sanctuary. Here's the house of the Lord right there. And have given Jacob to curse, and Israel to reproach. Why? Because they sinned against God. They're not going to. You're not going to get a blessing by sinning. God bless America while she's sinning. It's amazing how Christians will get up and say, no abortions, no abortions. Abortion is murder. Okay, it is. Yes. Then they'll turn around with the same voice and the same breath. God bless America. For the murder? You can't get both. 